Hey guys, so as requested, I wanted to film this recipe video on how I achieved the recipe that I recently posted on Instagram. It's kind of like a homemade Japanese meal. Um, so starting off, I have a whole chicken breast here. I cut it up already to save time. Also the same with the steak. Um, I used a New York strip. And then right here in the first bowl, I have some cut up onions already. I went ahead and cut them up because I did not want to cry on camera. <laughs> and then in the middle bowl, I have some mushrooms. And then the last bowl right here, the little tiny bowl, is some coleslaw. And then finally, right at the very end, I have some bite-sized cut up zucchini and squash along with a huge big old bag of spinach. So as you can see, I am applying a little bit of olive oil on each and this is just going to kind of help the meat kind of brown and keep it from getting so dried out. And as you can see, I'm applying some lemon pepper to the chicken. I started to add some on the steak and then I was like, oops, wrong meat. <laughs> and now I am adding some just regular black pepper to each of the meats. Um, you can salt and pepper to taste. I, however, don't like to use salt, so I just stick with pepper because I like it better and because I'm trying to stay away from salt. And now I'm adding a little bit of soy sauce to kind of marinate both of the meats while they cook. Soy sauce has a lot of sodium in it, however, so just use a tiny, tiny bit if you're trying to stay healthy. And now I'm just going in with some good old-fashioned parsley. I put this on everything. So now that the meat is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start my sauteing of my vegetables. I'm going to apply maybe two handfuls here of spinach. You want to make sure you have enough because when you saute spinach, it shrinks tremendously. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my squash and zucchini chunks. And then I'm going to sprinkle over my coleslaw right on the top as well along with my onions. And now I am applying my mushrooms. I like to add a little bit of olive oil over the top just to kind of wet all of the vegetables and stuff and to keep them from burning and drying out as fast. I apply olive oil to everything and then here you see me just adding a little bit of pepper like I said you could salt and pepper to taste I pepper to taste because like I said I stay away from salt or try to anyways <laughs> and here I'm adding some parsley this is completely optional because I know I added some in the meat as well but I just think it makes your food look extra extra pretty now you want to kind of mix all the vegetables in so they all kind of get the, um, the seasonings and the olive oil and all that and it kind of cooks evenly. You want to kind of stir these quite a few times as they cook just so they don't burn. I figured I would go in of a close up to the vegetables because they looked so freaking yummy. So like I said, you just want to kind of keep stirring those occasionally as you cook. And then here I'm adding a little bit of soy sauce over it as well because this will definitely bring out and enhance the flavor of all of the, the vegetables together. And you're just going to stir, you're going to stir, and stir, <laughs> and stir some more. And here I'm just adding a little bit of garlic powder as well and then I'm going to mix that in to make sure it gets evenly distributed all throughout my vegetables. And man. This is making my mouth water as I'm editing because I know how good it is. Oh, I can smell it now. It is so freaking good. Look at that beautifulness. Ah! And I totally forgot to mention that you're supposed to make a cup of white instant rice. I had it on the back burner. I totally forgot to mention it in the beginning. I had already had this cooked before I started my vegetables. So once your vegetables start getting soft, you want to add in your rice. I'm sorry that my shoulder got in the way. And I kind of sped this up because it was just a lot of mixing. You just want to evenly mix the rice in with the vegetables until you kind of see like the soy sauce taking over the color of the rice until the rice kind of looks a little brown. Once your vegetables are all soft, you want to go ahead and add in your meat. I'm adding my steak here first. You can cook the steak to your liking. I kind of did it kind of like a medium. And then I'm going to go in and add my chicken as well. 
And then after you get that all in, you want to make sure you mix it very, very well. And I'm just going to do a whole lot of mixing yet again and mixing and mixing and mixing. <laughs> but that's basically it. You're just going to stir it and then you're just going to serve it on a plate. And voila, you guys, I am serving it on a plate. It looks just as good as it tastes. I'm telling you, it is such a huge hit in my house. Um, it's really just something I was really undecisive on what to have for dinner one night. Looked in my refrigerator, I seen that I had extra chicken, extra steak, and a lot of fruits and veggies, so I decided just to throw them all together, and I came up with this beautiful, beautiful, yummy, delicious dinner. So there it is you guys i hope you enjoyed this video it is an extremely a little i can't talk it's an extremely easy recipe super quick let me know if you guys enjoyed this if you try it please let me know how you guys liked it if you want to see more cooking videos give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and until then i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye